Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Quart and welcome to my first ride review of the sensational Husqvarna Wittpillen 250 which I choose to call a design revolution in and of itself. So let's not waste any more time, let's hop on and let's see what the white arrow or the Wittpillen cafe racer is truly made up of. So this is the Husqvarna Wittpillen 250 wherein Wittpillen means white arrow. This is a proper authentic cafe racer from Husqvarna and what a way to make an entrance two different breed of motorcycles targeting two completely different set of audiences. The Wittpillen for the true cafe racer enthusiasts out there and the Swartpillen scrambler for the off-roading junkies. Irrespective of which bike you choose among these two, style and substance come as standard. These bikes are nothing short of becoming fashion icons across our nation. The Wittpillen is so unmistakably a proper homage to the cafe racers of the 60s and 70s and it is so beautifully crafted that it captivates your senses right from the very first glance. Now please note that I've talked in detail about Husqvarna's rich history spanning over 325 years and also their incredible racing legacy with nearly 100 world championship titles from 1960 to 2019 in my Swartpillen first ride review video. So please watch that for reference and I'm leaving a link in the description portion below. Powering the Wittpillen 250 is the same engine derived from the Duke 250 and almost the same engine seen on Swartpillen but the Wittpillen gets a different state of tune as well. You'll feel that once you ride the bike. The engine puts out a max power of 31 bhp as per their official website and a max torque of 24 newton meters. We get a 6 speed gearbox. Now if you're wondering which one to choose between the Wittpillen and Swartpillen, here are a quick set of differences which will help you make up your mind easily. First of all, Wittpillen is an authentic cafe racer with low set clip-ons and rare set foot pegs, which means the riding posture is very aggressive and forward biased when compared to Swartpillen, which gets a nice and upright seating posture. So if comfort is your top priority, go with the Swartpillen with your eyes closed. Secondly, the Wittpillen gets a single seat layout, whereas the Swartpillen gets a split seat layout. Though the layouts are different, space on offer remains the same. Both the bikes offer adequate room for the rider, but not much room for the pillion, so these bikes can be best enjoyed riding solo. Also, the Wittpillen gets radial street tires, whereas the Swartpillen gets dual purpose tires. So, Wittpillen is primarily for street use, whereas Swart is for off roading because it is a scrambler. Another thing is that the Swartpillen gets a luggage rack on the tank, but the Wittpillen doesn't get that. Also, the Swartpillen gets a heat shield or a protective cover for the exhaust because it's a scrambler and you might be taking it off road, but the Wittpillen doesn't get that either. Talking about the design, I love the round LED headlamp up front along with the LED DRL that surrounds the headlamp. The tail lamp is just as much as awesome as the headlamp. The lighting element within is downright beautiful. The seat is perfectly laid out. We do get premium quality foam and the stitching is top notch. If only they would have given wire spoke wheels with tubeless tires for this cafe racer, this would have been a perfect piece of art that one would love to park in his bedroom. The low set clip-ons are of good quality and so is the switch gear. The round instrument panel again perfectly blends into the design. Now though the speedo console looks aesthetically pleasing, visibility of the fonts is not all that great. I also love the detailing on the fuel tank lid, it's just beautifully carved out. Seat height is 835mm, so it is indeed slightly on the higher side. But because it's incredibly lightweight, it is extremely easy to balance and ride. For the records, the bike weighs a mere 152 kilos dry, but trust me, it feels much more lighter. Forming the sure foundation here is the steel trellis frame with a bolt-on subframe, almost similar to what we see on the Duke. And yes, we do get the same aluminium swing arm from the Duke as well. Talking about the suspension, we get WP Apex 43mm USD forks up front, which is indeed a value addition, and we do get a rear monoshock. Talking about the brakes, we get a massive 320mm front disc and a 230mm rear disc. 
we do get dual channel ABS as standard which means ABS is operational both on the front wheel as well as the rear wheel. We also do get the supermoto mode wherein ABS is operational only on the front wheel such that you can pull off those drifts in style. Tank capacity is another major concern. It's only 9.5 liters so the tank range is really tight. Ground clearance is 145 mm which is decent enough. In terms of suspension travel we get 142 mm of travel up front as well as at the back and of course another significant feature on board is PASC which stands for power and assist slipper clutch which prevents the rear wheel from locking and hopping even under harsh braking or panic braking scenarios and this also provides for a lighter clutch pull. The best part though is the pricing. That's where Husqvarna India have absolutely nailed it. Both the Swart Pillin and Wit Pillin are priced at Rs 1,84,500 X showroom here in Hyderabad which is unbelievable. So this wraps up my quick overview about the Wit Pillin 250. So now let's go ahead and take a look at my ride reaction. Off with my acceleration test. performance 148 was it I'm sure it would have gone on to touch 150 as well lightweight fast agile and nimble and absolutely top-notch build quality this is what defines the Husqvarna brand that enjoys a cult following unlike any other across the world and uh, what a way to enter the Indian market this the authentic cafe racer concept low set clip on handlebars amazing styling like that of a picasso painting and then you have the form factor of the modern radical neon cafe racer kind of a concept it's completely unlike anything you have ever seen or experienced before and uh, believe me while i was riding this from the showroom to the point where we usually do this uh, test rides every head was turning people were peeping out of their cars windows to get a glimpse of this machine that's how beautiful this bike looks you can park this in your bedroom or your living room it's like an art form on two wheels and that's what defines a true cafe racer and they've given rear set foot pegs low set clip on handlebars uh, comfort takes a back seat but if you are a cafe racer enthusiast you will love it just the way it is because the true cafe racer dna from the 60s and 70s has been instilled into this into the veins and roots uh, of this motorcycle and that is clearly evident the moment you look at it round headlamp looks stunning overall fit and finish looks outstanding front end feel thanks to the apex wp suspension 43 mm upside down forks it is rock solid it's certain as the sun that's how reassuring the front end feel is rear shock absorbers slightly on the softer side to give you that extra bit of comfort while riding through the city streets but believe me it holds up really well once you cross 100 kilometers per hour <coughs> at 148 kilometers per hour it felt really stable <coughs> really reassuring and uh, you always have enough bit of juice just literally flies each time you ring the throttle open and weighs just 153 kilos believe it or not and that's what makes it such a joy i mean it puts a smile on your face instantly the fuel tank as beautiful as it looks is the only limiting factor of this motorcycle everything is joy unlimited 
performance unlimited the riding pleasure comes in a new form and shape and uh, that is the Husqvarna uh, with pillin I can't wait to ride the Swart pillin I'm sure it will be even more amazing and people will absolutely fall in love with it because of the scrambler concept and uh, people would love thrashing it around all over the place across the dirt and uh, you know pull off jumps drifts and wheelies on it that's how amazing it is it's 154 kg is just 1 kg heavier than this comes with upright seating posture and uh, I'll be reviewing that motorcycle as soon as the demo bike is available talking about the brakes massive 320 mm disc up front 230 mm disc at the back dual channel ABS is standard you can always switch on to super moto mode which will turn off ABS on the rear wheel which will allow it to skid and drift and uh, you know pull off those stunts easily but ABS will continue to remain operational on the front wheel so it's almost like single channel ABS so now let's go ahead and quickly do my standard braking test taking the bike up to 60 kilometers per hour oh it was really good because of the aggressive styling I mean aggressive uh, seating posture it might feel a little intimidating but believe me you can grab a handful of front brake with complete confidence because the front wheel is not going to lock and you have a good uh, inspiring uh, braking performance courtesy of the massive 320 mm front disc uh, that has been uh, transitioned from the Duke 390 so <clears throat> overall let me be very frank with you if you are a layman then uh, this uh, is not the bike for you if comfort is your top priority but if you are a hardcore cafe racer enthusiast then this is the bike you've been waiting for a typical beautiful uh, neo retro cafe racer concept unlike anything you've seen or experienced before so it is complete in terms of everything performance braking suspension uh, and of course the riding stance which defines a proper cafe racer so this is what you get trust me you get money's worth Paisa Vasul motorcycle it looks smoking hot believe me it looks like a super model on two wheels that's how beautiful this bike is also the seat height is slightly taller for the average uh, rider out there it's 835 mm so you will be left tiptoeing just like me so if you're my height around 5 6 or 5 7 you'll be left tiptoeing as you can see uh, but the softer suspension does help to bring the seat down a little bit so that's pretty much it this concludes my first ride review of the swat pillin i just hope you found this video useful i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and ride safe